Wallahi, we've sold our deen. Go to any masjid, any masjid you like on a, well, any masjid for a fajr prayer. And see how many people choose Allah over dunya. Go, I'm not going to tell you Allah. Like, go, you, your own masjid, choose the own masjid you want. Go there for Jum'ah, then go there the next morning for Fajr. And then the same crowd, you know what's funny? You talk, Wallahi, brother, Deen or Dunya, Astaghfirullah, Kaz, what are you calling me a kafir, bro? Deen, brother, Deen. Allah comes first in my life. Allahu Akbar, beautiful. You know, my brothers, Allah Azza wa Jal, He's not looking for words. If it's words, we're all awliya here. If it's words, forget it. I'm the biggest aflamja on the face of the planet, bro. I'm on levels. But Allah's not looking for words. What's Allah looking for? Action. Because actions, my brothers, they speak far louder than words. Far louder than words. The same ummah that tells your brother, I believe in Allah. And I believe that Allah is a razzaq. And I believe it's Allah who gives and takes dunya. These same people, these same people, for Salat al-Fajr, everyone is... <laughs> but then at 6.30 in the morning, he's up on his feet, buying a za'atar manushi with a V and a cigarette, going to work. I'm not saying this is haram, but seriously, what have you chosen, deen or dunya? The same ummah that says to me now, brother, it's Allah, 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 for Fajr is asleep. But then when he comes to work, Wallahi, if his boss tells him, cuz you gotta be at three in the morning, like tikram ayunak, bro. What have we chosen, man? What have we chosen? So it's not about, you know, you, you ask yourself, what have I really, really chosen? Have I chosen deen or have I chosen dunya? What has gotten the better of me? Rasulullah he knew the reality of this dunya, man. Sometimes people think that, you know what, being a Muslim means you have to be a hater for dunya. No. The Prophet of Allah didn't come to tell us to hate dunya, no. He came to expose dunya to its reality. He came to show you how to take the best from dunya and leave the rest of it behind. He came to teach us and he says, he says in the hadith, he says, dunya mal'una wa mal'unun ma fiha. He says, this world is cursed. There's no good in this world, trust me. He says, and whatever inner is cursed, except what? He says, except the remembrance of Allah, more or less. He says, except the remembrance of Allah, or seeking knowledge or teaching, or anything around this. <coughs> What's this world, my brothers, really? 